Let's meet a librarian, a cloverleaf book about community helpers. Chapter one, the spy. Our class is on a mission. We're going to find out what a librarian does. We decide to visit Mr. Field. He's our school librarian. Librarians are people in the community. A community is a group of people who live in the same city, town, or neighborhood. I am an information expert, says Mr. Field. What does that mean, asks Joey. Let me show you, he says. What's something you really like? Dinosaurs, says Joey. Mr. Field uses his computer to track down a T-Rex. Then he tells Joey how to find books in the library about the T-Rex. How did you do that? asks Joey. Mr. Field says we can look for books about anything using the online catalog. A librarian named Melville Dewey made finding books easy. He gave different numbers to different types of books. Librarians use the numbers to put the books in order. Many libraries use these numbers. The catalog is Mr. Field's librarian tool. It lists all the books and movies in our library. He can also see things in other libraries. Library books don't have to stay in the library. Students and teachers can check out books from the school library. Librarians use computers to keep track of what books are checked out. So return your books on time. Maybe Mr. Field is a spy. Chapter two, no shushing allowed. Uh-oh, Jack is talking in the library. Shh, whispers Grace. But Mr. Field doesn't mind. He says making noise can help us learn. He plays music from around the world. Mr. Field can get loud. Most people study best in a quiet library. So many libraries have separate places for noisy learning. These are called play areas or story rooms. Speaking up is important for librarians. It is how they share information. Sometimes librarians invite guests to speak at the library. The guest might be a nurse, a dog trainer, or a magician. Librarians call on them for extra information. They give library tours and puppet shows. Librarians are full of facts. Reading so much helps them know about all kinds of things. Librarians like hearing from you too. So ask a librarian a question and pump up your brain power. Chapter three, a computer wizard. Our teacher, Mrs. Rios, needs help. Her computer is stuck. Presto, Mr. Field came to the rescue. He says librarians are technology wizards. Many libraries have electronic books, also called e-books. You use a computer or other electronic reader to look at an ebook. Librarians can show you how they work. Librarians learn about new technology. Mr. Field is good at troubleshooting. Troubleshoot means to solve problems. Sometimes computers can get viruses. A virus stops a computer from working properly. Librarians use special technology to help keep computers safe from viruses. He teaches us how to use computers to do our schoolwork. And he teaches our teacher how to keep our computers safe from viruses. Mrs. Rios can save the day. Not every librarian lends a hand in school. Some help out in museums or in hospitals. 
Librarians also work at public libraries. These libraries are open to the community. Mr. Field came to read us a story. So we give our book helper a hand too. Let's meet a librarian.